Afternoon everyone, it's Jamie Simpson here from the Ruby Agents, I'm one of the directors. I just want to take you through a bit of a tuition as to how to use your, your profile on the website. So if we look at um, this example, the most important thing is that you create as clear a picture as possible for any rugby club looking to recruit players. So all these details are really important that you fill them in, um, particularly things like what you're looking for. So if you're looking to go to Australia, detail that. That way you're only going to get contacted by Australian clubs, which saves you a little bit of time going forward. In terms of your personal overview, just make sure that you're talking about the kind of player you are and the kind of person you are, and why you want to travel and play rugby or why you want to challenge yourself at a different level or a different club. And then in terms of previous clubs, it just gives that clearer picture to the DOR about what they're getting. And it also enables them to research you a little bit to find out um, kind of how many appearances you made the last season and those kind of things. Um, so they're all important bits. Make sure that you detail the schools, the rep teams, everything that you've played for in terms of rugby. Put it down onto your previous clubs. It does help make that clearer picture. Networking in rugby is vital, and it may be that that particular DOR knows someone associated to your school, your college, your club, your county, etc. Um, references are like a backup plan to, for, for a head coach or a DOR, and it just enables them to phone up one of your previous coaches and discuss you in a bit more detail what kind of person you are, uh, what kind of player you are, just to make sure that you're the kind of player that they want at their rugby club. Finally, your video footage. Um, your video footage is obviously really important because it gets them to put a face to the name um, and physically see what kind of player you are in terms of what you do on the field. Um, ideally, we want a YouTube link and all you basically do with the YouTube link is just cut and paste it onto your video footage um, onto the website there and it'll, it'll stay there for people to go and watch um, when they're looking to recruit you. So once you've done your profile and you've saved it, the next thing is to go onto clubs. And when you go onto clubs, it's dead easy. You just literally go through all the countries that you want to go to, click on the countries you want and press filter. And then if you wanted to go to Australia, you've then got a load of Australian rugby clubs here that you can actually physically go and um, inquire to. One thing to bear in mind is that on the first page of rugby clubs, the one on the top left will be the latest rugby club to go onto the site. So as you go through all the different pages of rugby clubs, so if we go onto the third page here, for example, these will be the ones that have been on for a while. Um, and so just bear that in mind when you're actually contacting the clubs. The first pages are the latest and therefore the most recent clubs to go on. Um, if you struggle, by all means get in touch with either myself or Johnny. We're both um, happy to help. Just send me a Ruby CV and footage um, and we'll see what we can do from our end. Good luck. All the best. Thank you very much.